All right, let's go over um, software updating, system updating, and uh, factory reset. All right, so if you get a new um, spy file, a new software file, um, without um, an EEPROM file, a preset file, a profile file, if you know it's just software updating and none of the preset uh, knobs or anything like that are changing, then you can just update the, pre the, um, the spy file. But what I would do is, um, first I would uh, dump the EEPROM just to, just to be safe. Oh. Okay, so that's that took all the state of the DLF currently, and now you can you can upload you know a new spy file. So let's say we want to um, that be a pump. Oops, sorry. Oh, where the spy file? And the file is in the old directory. And uh, the latest one starts with an A, A, I think. Let me see. ADD, I'm sorry. Okay. So, this will pump the spy. And this takes a while, but not terribly long. So all we're doing here is updating the, the software. So, um, how can we determine that we actually did it correctly? Well, the DLEV is not giving us any errors or anything like that, but we can explicitly check by using the HCL command. Alright, so we did an HCL and we gave it the version. So here's what came back. ADD46826, and that matches the spy file here that we uploaded, so that's cool. So we did our software update. Now if you were going to do a, um, a full EEPROM update, like everything, I would, well, we've already downloaded the EEPROM file. We've dumped it, so we're, we're safe. But I think for convenience, I would probably also uh, dump my profile that I use. So dump my system profile. Oh no, it's not a dump. It's uh, we're doing, going to do a slot to file, right? Because we want slot zero, and we want to file my pro zero, and we're in pro mode. So. We downloaded profile slot zero to profile my pro zero DOP. So, yeah, let's see. There it is. That's what we just did. And this is our backed up EEPROM file. And after this, we could um, then uh, blast it with um, the new EEPROM file, which would replace everything. And then we would. Uh, then upload our uh, our this uh, my pro zero DLP to the slot zero. So that would be like um, F to S. I'm not going to show the E prompt uh, update uh, pump because it takes forever. Uh, slot zero, and then I thought we should do it. And so it uploaded the profile file to pro slot zero. So we've restored the system profile that we use all the time in slot zero um, after we uploaded the EEPROM file. And um, setting the DLEV back to uh, the factory fresh state, doing a factory um, reset, is just a matter of uploading an EEPROM file, pumping, pumping the DLEV with an EEPROM file that, that came on your thumb drive. 
and it'll be exactly the way it was when you first got it.